stand and talk and it's uh, amazing the work that women are doing in ai and uh, with such a confidence right so let me start introducing myself um, as anna just now mentioned this is aruna i am a principal architect in g healthcare i get to work on deploying ai models in g healthcare devices on premise and on cloud and uh, benefit so many people and i'm going to share my story and uh, this is the story of yet another woman like many of you guys like how, what divya just now spoke about and uh, the some of the key takeaways that you might get out of this conversation this sharing would be um, have a purpose in life many of the challenge challenges that you face at work or life will get resolved you know all these challenges come and go and you would stay unaffected when you have a purpose in life have that self confidence believe the power in you this should be the takeaway at the end of this okay so what has been the story of this story of this yet another woman aruna so i will take the story of my life the last you know 6 7 years uh, when i joined g healthcare um i was a ui architect of course i had huge background working with um, financial institutions um, erp crm and so on but i just happened to join as a ui architect because i moved places and this was closer to my home i was doing wonderful and i got the opportunity to become an ai architect and what is ai this was like 6 7 years ago i have no clue and ai in imaging i had no clue either yes i was a very confident person in the work that i do i had the confidence that i can learn now with everything new around me and with lack of support you can imagine you can fill the gaps everywhere in the middle my confidence was terribly broken and there were people around me that knew stuff yes i had support from here and there but in the beginning people were not ready to trust me all the challenges that every woman would face i had to face as an architect you're supposed to guide the team you're supposed to lead the team and here you are learning the team was also learning no question but they were all looking to me to provide guidance and when you have self doubt and you are not clear what how you want to lead you are broken to pieces i went through a lot of challenges i put myself down as a woman you are typically sensitive you know you can very well relate if it was a man this is my feeling right or wrong even with 20% of knowledge they would speak as if they know 200% but you and i most of us here unless we know 200% we will not even talk 50% this was my state 6 7 years ago when i got into this luckily for me i'm saying luckily because as a reflection i'm looking at it today luckily for me i got the opportunity to deploy ai models on several g healthcare devices there were several wonderful data scientists in the arc there are still they are developing or building ai models and i'm working on a platform i was assigned to work on this platform that can deploy ai models on g healthcare devices at scale i worked with multiple modalities x ray mr ct and name it and i was given the opportunity to deploy so let me talk about the very first project that i was work on working on this was a life saving one um two wonderful ladies carly and caitlin put together this idea uh, they were product managers for ai platform and xray at that time respectively and they figured out what is this life saving model there came xray critical care suite just to give some statistics here 60% of chest x-ray exams are marked for urgent reading right in the country that we live in and beyond where the number of radiologists that we have to read those x-ray exams do not match up and think about developing countries think about you know several 
countries, several populations, the underserved regions where they hardly even have the ability to even get into a hospital. Now, they go to a hospital and they are in a critical condition. Say they get to an accident and their X-ray has to be read and say they have this collapsed lung scenario where their lung is collapsed and they cannot even, um, if, if that escalates, they cannot even breathe. Now, where 60% of X-ray exams are as urgent, now the radiologist is looking at one at a time and it may take eight hours for a stat chest X-ray, like emergency chest X-ray, right? Now, when is your urgent case going to be read? When is your life-threatening condition going to be identified and a treatment to be taken right away? You're going to put the patient at risk. That's where this X-ray critical care suite, I figured out it is going to help right then and there, right when the technologist scans, the imaging device itself notifies the radiologist of this particular case that has a suspicion of a critical finding, collapsed lung, which is called pneumothorax, via a device alert, and real-time packs and DICOM notification is going to be sent. The workflow productivity is right there at the point of care. And I get to work on this. Wow. You are saving lives here. G Healthcare gave me a purpose to save lives. You know, yes, I have worked on many of my projects from the past that I have worked with passion. Most of us do that. Anything that we take up, we would want to give our 100% and more and beyond at work, at home. Yes, I have three boys at home and they used to have my in-laws at home too. And so much of struggle at home, at work, as I was saying, learning everything new was a struggle. Now, the minute I knew what I was working on, that was slowly changing my life. In the meantime, I met this young guy, you know, 28, 29 year old, a women supporter, I should say. And he comes and he's talking about his story of how he's saving lives in India. So many people, underserved people that don't have food to eat, that don't have um, any medical care to be given, who are rejected from private hospitals because they don't have money. And he's starting a medical camp and now he's starting to work on a free state-of-the-art hospital that will be serving the underserved in some of the remotest population of India. Now, I get to volunteer. My purpose increases. The reason that I get to work is a lot more meaningful right now. I get to work on things that is going to save so many underserved lives. Now think about the satisfaction you would get. A lady, a woman who kept thinking about herself, her family, her friends, now is getting the opportunity to expand herself, to see the entire humanity as part of her family. The purpose is growing and it is expanding. It is expanding yourself. In this case, it is expanding myself. Now, when someone interrupts you when you talk and you have a purpose and goal in mind, do you think you'll shy away? You'll be patient. You'll still make sure you make your point across because you know what you're working for. You are not working for getting a paycheck. You are not working to get an aha from or a clap from your audience. You are not working to um, get a promotion. You're not working for your boss to put a good review for you. You're working to make a difference in the life of people around you. And it is going to be you and your family anytime. And now you have a direction. You are no more like a boat that is just let go in a stream of water or let go in a lake where it just goes here and there based on the direction of the wind that gets blown. You are now like a boat with a boatman 
rowing to reach a destination and you have a purpose and goal in life. And now, if you have to learn something new, you will end up learning it because you know why you're working on it. You won't worry about making mistakes. You won't shy away. You won't feel inferior. You know you are going to put your effort. You know, if you have a kid, you will know how the kid falls several times while learning to walk. The kid will get up, try to walk again. The kid is just learning to walk. It doesn't bother. There is no mental talk going on in this, in this child's head. It just doesn't quit, it just doesn't, doesn't stop walking. There is no demotivation. And you will be that kid. And here, a kid with a wonderful purpose to work behind. Now, when someone takes your credit, you are absolutely not bothered because after all, okay, let this person take this credit. Your work is still getting done. That clarity will enable you to do a lot more than what the other person took credit for. You are marching on, that other person is stuck, taken the credit and he or she has a ceiling. And now you are marching ahead. You will get tons more credit than the other person would have imagined. And someone hurts your feeling, you will either just learn to ignore because you don't care because you know where you're going or you will end up forgiving this person and continue to collaborate this person. There have been cases where the same person that I was getting tortured, when I started showing success, when I got this focus, when I knew there was a purpose behind what I was working, when I ignored everything and started acting with confidence, everything got resolved. That same person is today my friend. I adore him and this person adores me as well. And that person became my promoter. Remember, the world is watching you. People can change their minds left and right, but you are unaffected by any of those. You will be recognized whether you want to be recognized or not because you're marching towards a goal. You have a purpose in life. You now know what to prioritize, what to say yes or no. Yes, for all of us as women, we have challenges. We have time constraints. We are wondering how to juggle our life between kids and family and home and work and going for conferences, learning new things, AI, whatnot. But you know how to prioritize. You know what to say yes to. You know what to say no to. This purpose and goal can be at a day's level, at a month's level, year's level, and your life level. You will know prioritize when you're working towards a purpose, towards a goal. And if you end up working late, you are doing it for yourself because you know the impact that you are creating. It's not for your boss or money. Sure, those can all happen. But you have an impact to make. And that impact, impact is not just for you, your family, just making money. You have a bigger goal. Your mind is very, very clear. Your heart is clear. With the purpose right in front of you. All the mental conversations should stop. You now have focus. Ideas will pour from within you as there are no confusions. We all have the power within ourselves. What stops us from exhibiting all this power? It is all our mental talk, all our confusions. What is right? What is wrong? Tons of confusions going around. That stops us from working to our fullest potential. Now, all of these mental talks would stop. There'll be confidence in you. People will pour to help you when they see the confidence in you and when they see that you are marching towards that goal and people will join you. The universe will support you. Just to share, this nonprofit organization that I'm working, volunteering for, that is building a free hospital, they have, they started with no money in hand, but the hospital construction is up. Its, it's structure is up. It is going to be inaugurated very soon. The universe supports you when you have a goal in hand. Now, me sitting at GE Healthcare, I'm thinking, wow, all the work that I did, several of our team members did, all those is going to now self, all the help all the underserved in, in that community, in India, in the country that I came from, and several other people from world all over. Think about the satisfaction. And you will say no 
you are no less than anyone around you and every one of us has that power in us and there will be no confusion it is all the vices that limit us the vices will fall apart vices within you will go away you are now expanding yourself beyond your limits expand yourself beyond your constraint with humility with respect with reverence and with the gratitude for the opportunity you are getting when a woman breaks all her constraints mental or physical there is no one to stop her there is no one to stop you and i when you have a goal when you have a purpose and if you have such a noble purpose that everybody is joining you towards your goal imagine every one of us breaking all our limitations working with a purpose in mind as we expand ourselves with no limits we can work towards creating a world where healthcare has no limits let us all work with a purpose in life if this resonates with you let medtech let healthcare be also be your purpose love you all dear sisters feel free to reach out to me in linkedin if you like to learn more let us all create a world where healthcare has no limits thank you everyone i'm ready for any questions beautiful beautiful keynote aruna very inspirational very personal and very encouraging us to take action and to work with purpose to search for our purpose and to create a new meaning of our life we have a couple of questions let's take one we have we have we can add a couple of minutes uh first i want to add, read a comment love the story about the way to search for purpose and meaning at work from emily And Marsha and I had, even if somebody is taking credit for my idea, sounds very wise and the right thing to do, but what if it becomes the norm at work? Should I not speak up? Question from Stephanie. You should speak up. You know, um, as I said, you will have the clarity of mind when your goal is clear, but you know how we would speak up. You would not barge in. You would have a way to learn. You would know. um you would you would say you know you could say things like depending on the situation you could say things like oh yeah i worked on this project when i was working that you can chime in people yeah. will recognize sometimes you might ignore you you don't bother but remember people are watching you in fact it will be a situation where this one person will be totally isolated because the world is seeing and you are marching ahead with your purpose on all these mental talks will all stop you will exactly know angelina what you are going to do you know trust me it will happen thank you thank you so much aruna there are a couple of more questions but i suggest they can reach out to you since we ran out of time and thank you so so much for being with us today thank you so much anna thanks for the opportunity bye 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 everyone